My name is Mark Kinchin. I go by the name MK. That's pretty much it. Detroit is like dance mecca. Yeah. And I, I noticed now, like I was 10 years old and just TV shows, just dance shows of just people dancing. Yeah. Seriously, it's like an hour long of people dancing. They've done the commercial ones in LA, but it's like in Detroit, it was like ghetto, like people dancing to like songs you never heard of, but are, that are just like good dance music. And that's where techno started, yeah. you know. So it's like you had if you were if you were into music, you kind of had no choice but to get into like some type of dance house music. I picked up my first keyboard when I was I think 12, and then by the time I was 14, I was, I started producing. I mean, not for you know just producing in my bedroom, but. By what, the were time, you, what were you using? Anything I get my hands on. Like a lot of my friends, you know, they were in bands, they had equipment, and they would loan me equipment. But I just learned how to use everything. By the time I was 17, I was like a vet in the studio. Like I can use anything. And from that point, you know, I was just producing. But I never thought like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go to school. I'm gonna do this, and you know make music and make a million dollars. I didn't think like that. I went to school for architecture. But then I got a record deal and dropped out. But <laughs> that's, you know, that's a different story. But, you know, for the most part, you know, I, I didn't think that I would make a living from doing music. Mm -hmm. And it works. Because music, is, you know, it's about feeling. Period. Period. It could be out of key. It could be EQ'd bad. You know, it could be dirty. It can be clean. But it's just about feeling. Mm -hmm. One that's always seemed to stand out is the Shea Damier, Can You Feel It? And I think because he asked me to do a remix for him and I knew he was gonna take whatever I gave him. So I didn't have to like think about, okay, let's make this guy happy, he's happy. Even though I just said, you know, it's about a vibe, but that it would make, he made it so easy to just do what you do and just have fun with it. I've done, I did house music, I stopped doing house music, and I started working with pop artists. And now it's seen both sides of the spectrum where, you know, you do the, the underground stuff and you think like, I wanna do the mainstream stuff. I wanna, you know, I wanna do stuff that's on MTV or whatever. And then you get to that and you're like, this is it. You know, it's like, I'm going back. Like, this is a waste of time. And, and that's kind of where I'm at now. It's like, I just rather have fun with it. You know, I don't, it's, it's not about the money. It's just about what I started when I was 14. You know, you do it because you like doing it. It makes you feel good. You want to, you know, produce, make music. And that's where I'm at. In a weird way, I could almost imagine something like Burning. I know it's quite quite obvious, it's the obvious choice, but imagine if that was vocal by one of these. I know, that, I think it's, I'm like, <laughs> it's, it's like, it's so close, but then it's like, so I'm like, you guys are just missing the boat. It's like, don't you see what these kids are listening to? Like, I mean, you know, I haven't been DJing for 20 years, you know what I mean? But it's like, sometimes I go out and I play Burning and I see the reaction, but I, I've worked with commercial artists, so I, I I can put two and two together. Mm. You know, it's like, oh, you guys, just listen. Trust me. You know, yeah, don't I, be I, so corporate about it. I'm working with doing some stuff with Maceo Plex. We're doing um, just a lot of the new guys. Because uh, the thing is, I, I literally stopped in 95, cold turkey. So, you know, I started back like, what, 15 years later. So instead of, you know, 
I don't really want to come back where I left off. I want to almost come back as a new producer. You know, as a new, a new kid, you know, I'm seen. You know, I've been producing a lot with, with Jimmy Jones and Lee Foss. And um, there's a new record, Benediction, coming out. And there's a record that Lee and I did called like, Electricity coming out. That, they're both really, really good. And we've been talking about producing, just producing songs for other artists, us three. But doing it the way we kind of envision it. This is MK and I'll be playing in November at the Audio Donuts, November 30th.